Hi, my name is Rex Beanland and welcome to my studio. I've recently updated and improved my method for drawing and painting cars and that's what we're going to take a look at today. So here's a typical sporty type car. Now when we draw a car, the most important shape is the windshield. When you look at the windshield from the front, the two sides are equal but opposite angles. In other words, they're mirror images of each other. Secondly, the body of a car is always wider than the windshield. And the third thing we need to pay attention to is that the tires sit right at the edge of the body. So with these points in mind, let's look at an easy method to draw a car from the front. Now just a note here, I keep talking about painting a car from the front, but it applies equally to a car from the back. It's really just when you're looking at the front or the back straight on. To begin, let's just draw a square, something about three inches, three or four inches. Nice square. And then cut off a little bit at the bottom, maybe about a centimeter. And erase that line. Now come down about a third of the way, and that is your windshield. And remember, the sides of the windshield are mirror images, equal but opposite angles. Very important that the body sticks out below the windshield on both sides. Now we'll get rid of these lines. And that finally the tires are as wide as the body of the car. And it's also very important to always put the shadow underneath the car. No matter what the light conditions, there's a shadow underneath the car. Headlights or taillights, and we're finished. Now let's take a look at the car as seen from the side. The first difference is that the sides of the windshield are now at different angles. The one further away always slopes more. And next, the front of the car is no longer centered under the windshield. It's now shifted to one side. And thirdly, we can now see the side of the roof and the back of the car. The roof slopes gently down until it reaches the bottom of the windows and then it juts out and goes almost straight down. But before we draw this car, let's take a closer look at that line formed by the bottom of the windows. You'll notice that this line slopes gently down as it goes from the back to the front of the car and it also transitions into the side of the hood. So now let's take a look at a way to draw this view. Okay, again we start with the square. And then we take off a little bit at the bottom. Erase that. And again, third of the way down for the windshield, but one side slopes much more than the other side. And the, the hood sticks out much more when we see it from the side. We put that line, the bottom of the window line, and the roof slopes down gently, juts out at the window line, and comes almost straight down. Get rid of these lines. And now we can see four tires. We see the wheel well, and we see the tires which are wider than the wheel well. And we can, in fact, see the fourth tire. And once again, tires are dark, always. And very important to put the shadow underneath the car. And then we put the headlights and we're ready to go. Okay, now let's look at how to paint this car from the front or back. Now, almost always, or usually, the windshield is a dark, so just something, this ultramarine blue with a bit of, a uh, tiny bit of burnt sienna. So we get a dark windshield. Now, what's important is, whether you're seeing the car from the front or back, the hood or the trunk are at a different angle than the front or the back. And we can, a simple way to show this is by leaving this strip of white between the windshield and the body. Now my favorite color combination is, is rich ultramarine blue and into that blend some nice dark um, mineral violet in this case. 
nice dark purple. And at the bottom of the, uh, the body, it starts to curve underneath. And it's always a little bit darker at the bottom. So I'm using my neutral tint. And very important, always put the shadow underneath the car. And the shadow goes from wheel to wheel. So it looks lovely. Now I'm using some uh, CAD red light here. So this is a car from behind. I, I love red more than I like the white. So that looks very nice. And finally put on some side mirrors. And now we have a lovely car from the front, even though in this case it's actually a car from the back. So this time I want to do the same car, but just try and make it more interesting. So I'll start again with uh, a dark windshield. You can see the bit of uh, mineral violet in there. Just a nice dark. But into this wash I'm going to add some even darker bits. And they will kind of blend in and look like there's something inside. And here I'm taking just pure water to bleed into the, the wash and I'm hoping it'll give me the sense of light reflecting through the windshield. Again, my favorite colors, nice strong ultramarine, leaving that gap for the front or the, or the hood or the trunk. Adding extra ultramarine so it's nice and rich. It's blending it into mineral violet. Keep those edges straight. And then where the car starts to turn underneath, it's always a little bit darker. So I'm using my uh, neutral tint. And the tires, of course, are a nice neutral tint. And very important always to put that shadow, which goes from tire to tire. Looks great. But to make this version more interesting, I'm going to play with water. My brush here is just, just damp but it's going to uh, soften those edges, make them more interesting. And now I'm just dripping water in there so that it will blend those two colors and mix them around a bit. Put on the tail lights or the, the mirrors, side mirrors, add some more water, tilt it a bit to get it to run. And this time I want the car coming towards me, so I'm using Chinese white. Very, very rich, straight out of the tube. And now I'm going to paint a bit of a neutral blue-gray uh, background, just to give it a better sense of light. And then I'll take a bit of a warmer wash to give the feeling of the road. To my eye, this is much more interesting than the first version. Now when we look at them, the one on the left is very accurate, but the straight lines, this is my preference, they just, they just don't do it. So I really like what's happening on the right. Now let's look how to paint this car from the side view. So I'm starting with my uh, rather traditional dark windshield. But I'm going to add a little bit of uh, darker uh, blue into this, just to create a bit more interest. And a little bit of water to kind of catch, get a sense of the reflection. And now remember to leave that gap of white for the hood. And then I'm going with uh, my ultramarine. But I'm just painting the front of the car. And again, blend that into a rich uh, mineral violet. Yeah, put a little bit more there. Now, I'm not happy with that, st that straight line there, so I'm taking some more of the ultramarine blue to encourage it to bleed and blend together. And at the bottom, where it starts to curve under, neutral tint. So it's darkest at the bottom. Now I'm taking just pure water here and bleeding the front into the side. That's a little bit light, so I'm adding a little bit of the same color. 
And in this way, the side of the car will have color unity, color harmony with the front, but it'll be a different value, different texture. Again, put the tires in, neutral tint. And, and I'm quite happy to have this wheel well sort of bleed into the car bed. It, uh, for me, it's just more interesting. Well, that's really bleeding at the back, but that's okay. And really important, really important to have that shadow underneath that touches all the tires and sticks out a bit. And then just to reinforce where the car starts to turn under, where it's darker, Again, pure Chinese white straight out of the tube for the headlights. And I'll add the side mirror. And then if you're free to add some details so like the, the door on the side. Anyway, nice car from the side. Now I want to show a different approach to painting the car from the side. So let's take a look at the actual car again, just to get a different way to paint it. In this case, the front of the car is light, the side of the car is darker. And in the side, there's a dark streak here and a dark streak there. So let's use those ideas to try a different way to paint this. Again, usual process for the windshield. This time I'm going to add a little bit stronger um, mixture of the same color and a little bit of a darker value. And then some water to catch that reflection in the middle. And this time the side of the car is what's dark. So I'll uh, start with this. And then I'm going to go right to these, the streaks that we noticed on the side. Something like this. The shape doesn't really matter that much. Just play with them a little bit. And now I'm taking just a damp brush to blend all of this together, to bleed the edges, to make it more organic, more realistic. And I'm going to start off with just blending this color over the front, but it's so light you can't even see it. So I'm going to add a bit more color, the same color, but a light value to get the front. And then I just want to strengthen these streaks on the side. And this time I'm going to uh, put some of the detail from the car, the, I'm not sure what it's called, but these things. And then we see the wheel well, nice bleeding effect. See the fourth wheel back there. And always, always very important to get that shadow from one wheel right to the other side. So all the wheels touch it. And I, I just want to soften that edge a bit. I don't want it to be a hard edge at all. I'm going to just try and create a little bit more interest by adding some water. And then the side mirror. And then again where the car turns underneath, just darken the bottom there a bit. And I was feeling that I wanted some more detail on these shapes, but then when I put them there, the other mirror, but these shapes, when I put them there, I'm not totally sold on them, so I'm going to just soften them a bit. And again, put some background, which really brings the light into the picture. Just a neutral blue-gray. and then a warmer wash to indicate the road. 
Now, if we look at the actual car, you'll see that the headlights are, are actually a dark. So I'm going to put a dark shape first, let it dry, and then put the Chinese white on top of that. The side just seems a little light to me, so I'll just darken it a bit. Now you can see here that the car on the left is lovely and accurate, but it's a little stiff. The car on the right is more interesting to me because I've played with water. In fact, both cars on the right side are made more interesting by letting the water do its thing. In other words, by playing with the water. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this and learned something. And I encourage you to put some cars into your own paintings. They're fun to paint, they're easy, and people love to look at them. And I look forward to connecting with you next time.